Today in our 2015 Chevrolet Equinox, we'll be installing the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector, part number 56094. To begin our install, we'll first open up the rear hatch. Next, we'll need to remove the two caps covering up the two fasteners so that we can remove the taillight assemblies. Then we'll remove the two screws. Once our fasteners are out, we'll go ahead and pop the taillight assembly out. Note, it can make it easier if you get in front of the taillight assembly with a flat blade screwdriver, or we're just gonna use a plastic pry tool and pop the taillight assembly out. Be careful not to break those two alignment tabs underneath. Now we'll go ahead and remove the manufacturer's wiring from the taillight assembly by pressing on the locking tab and removing the connector from the socket. With the driver's side out and set aside, I'll move over to the passenger side and repeat the same process. Now with both taillight assemblies out and set aside, we'll start on the driver's side, taking our new T-connector harness with the yellow and brown wire connector and plugging directly into the manufacturer's wiring on one side of the T-connector. The other side will then go into the back of the taillight assembly. Next, we'll take the four pole connector along with the green wire connector and feed them down between the rear bumper fascia and body of the vehicle. Once we have them fed underneath, we'll go ahead and pull the wires out so we gain access to them. Then we're going to run the green wire connector over to the passenger side and our four pole flat trailer connector will ultimately get routed to the hitch. Quick tech tip, keep in mind when routing your wires, stay with many moving components such as steering or suspension or excessive heat such as exhaust. Now we've made a connection with both taillight assemblies. I'm gonna use some black electrical tape and tape up the wires. This will bundle the wires together and clean up our install look. Now with that done, I'll go ahead and finish securing the wire. Now with our wiring harness secured underneath, we're gonna go ahead and pull the remaining portion of the harness up behind the taillight assembly and then secure it. This will help ensure that our wiring harness doesn't fall down onto our exhaust or where it can be damaged. Once we have the wiring secured, we're going to go ahead and cut off the excess from the zip ties to clean up our install look. Then we can plug our harness into the taillight assembly and reinstall it. With our taillight assembly back in, we'll go ahead and reinstall the fasteners and caps. Here on the passenger side, once we secure the wiring, we'll take the white wire with the pre-attached ring terminal and secure it to the body. This will provide the ground for our new four-pole harness. Now with the ground secured, we'll go ahead and reinstall the taillight assembly. Now with our taillight assemblies reinstalled, we'll go ahead and close the hatch and we can test our new four pole connector. We'll go ahead and remove the cap of the four pole connector Put our test light clamp on the white wire terminal. The next terminal over will be our brown wire terminal and our running light circuit. Then the yellow wire terminal will be the driver's side turn signal and brake. And then the fourth terminal is going to be our green wire terminal for the passenger side turn signal and brake. 
Now that we know our four pole connector works, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of our Curt T connector vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 56094 on our 2015 Chevrolet Equinox.